Hi, I'm John Paul from Power by Nature. Today we're going to take a look and review the Solar Gorilla. Now back in 2009, the Solar Gorilla has won some awards and was one of the best selling products on the market. The whole idea behind the Solar Gorilla is it's a solar powered charging unit which will charge various devices from mobile phones to laptops. Now, within the case, you obviously get the solar panels. Now, as you can see, it is quite a nice design. It's quite thin. It's in a fairly sturdy case as well, which is always handy. Um, to use it, you'd simply open it out. And so, put this in the sunlight and basically plug in the adapters and you'd start charging. Now, you also get a nice little carry bag and within the box you will see all the different types of connectors. Now there's a number of connectors here ranging from uh, USB, we have mini USB, micro USB, we have uh, its own charger for the Nintendo DS Lite and various other ones. You obviously on top of that get uh, cables to use the connectors and to connect whatever device up. Now when I first got this device, um, it was actually a couple of months ago and we went on holiday and we took this to the caravan. Now the whole idea was to charge up various mobile devices at the caravan by using obviously the sun and the, the solar gorilla itself. Um, I will say now that luckily I didn't just rely on that, I did actually take my phone charger and the charger for the tablet. Now the device itself did work very well. Now hopefully you will see some images coming up about now. And from the images you will be able to see that I did try the solar gorilla in various places around the caravan. Now there was never any obstructions, they were always in the sunlight. Um, so I would say it was quite a fair test and luckily we didn't have any rain. Now some of the problems that I encountered whilst using the device was mainly as soon as there was a bit of cloud cover, um, the solar gorilla actually lost the ability to charge. Now when you plug in my phone it obviously beeps to let you know that it's charging. So on one of the days in question when the cloud cover was on and off um, for quite some time of the day, the mobile phone was constantly beeping because it was having its charge, then the cloud came, it was losing its charge. So it wasn't really a very useful device to say the least. Um, it's also only water resistant, which I think living and working in the UK, like pretty much most people watching this will be doing, um, it's probably not good enough to be honest. You need a device that's going to be either fully waterproof or it's just not waterproof at all. But saying water resistant and the amount of rain that we do have um, can lead to obviously probably the device getting broke if you leave it out. So all in all, testing it, um, I tried in various positions as you've seen on the pictures. I've tried indoors, I tried outdoors, I tried quite a lot of things to get a decent amount of charge off the so solar gorilla. However, I pretty much failed every single time I tried. This kind of leads me to believe that a portable solar device such as this is pretty much no good for general UK use. I would say if you live in Spain, this might work quite well. If however, you live in the UK where the sun is not guaranteed all day every day, then I would probably look at a different device in all honesty. Not the best thing I've ever purchased, but never mind. Thank you.